Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Um, today, because I saw this on Galga Transfer, I'm going to make clear, like, if XRP's burn rate per transaction, 10 drops per transaction, will actually affect or not affect price any time in the future. <clears throat> the answer is obviously no, but we will actually mathematically prove it because it's very easy to calculate how much XRP can be burned per day at maximum capacity. Now, 10 drops is only burned on an on-chain transaction, so you can scale above... 1500 on and off uh, on off chains right now but that really doesn't <clears throat> affect how much can actually be burned per day because off chain transactions don't really burn the drops the on chain transactions burn the drops so since we have 15000 transactions per second maximum you <clears throat> you have to multiply that by 10 drops per transaction and then you have to multiply that by 86400 seconds per day and after you multiply it all, you get 1.296 billion drops per day. Now remember, there are a million drops per XRP. So 1.296 billion drops per day actually equals 1,296 XRP burn per day at maximum capacity. So the supply, the total supply of XRP is 100 billion XRP because that's basically how much we're created. I know half of it's in escrow, but eventually it's all going to be released. So the total supply is 100 billion XRP. 1% of that is 1 billion XRP. So if you burn 1,296 XRP per day, to burn even 1% of the supply, which is 1 billion XRP, it would take roughly 771,604 700, days or 2,113 years to burn even 1% of the supply. So you can actually wait if you want for 2,000 years for the, for the um, burn to actually start affecting the price, but I'm probably not gonna be alive that long. And I'm betting that you're probably not gonna be alive for over 2,000 years as well. So that's why XRP's burn rate will not affect the price. And that's why like the stuff, um, the stuff that's actually created on the ledger other coins that are actually created on the ledger that don't directly use XRP, like this, uh, like you know, Sologenic or Casino Coin or whatever. Um, that's why, even though every single transaction um, does actually require an XRP burn, even at maximum capacity, you're gonna have to wait 2,000 years to burn 1% of the supply, just mathematically. Now, eventually XRP can scale on chain past 1500 transactions per second but even if you scale it to 50,000 transactions per second you just divide the 2000 years by like 35 and you would still have to wait for like 70 years i don't have 70 years to wait on my investment so i'm not going to depend on the burn rate to actually uh, increase the price you're going to have to act we have to de de depend on actual XRP utility not utility of coins that are created on the XRP ledger but utility of coins that are actually um, that well utility of applications that actually use XRP. Now, if you're, I mean, this is the same thing with like Tron, EOS, Ethereum, VeChain. That's why even if a lot of these coins that are actually created on those specific blockchains, um, they get a lot of transactions. Like you know, like TronBet gets like I think like millions of dollars worth of transactions per day or something. It doesn't really affect the Tron price all that much. However. Tron, Ethereum, uh, like Tron, Ethereum, EOS, and VeChain, they do have an advantage because they have a built-in gas thing. And so it affects, each transaction affects those particular um, blockchains a lot more than they actually affect the XRP uh, on the, uh, on the XRP ledger. So having a lot of projects built on the XRP ledger, because XRP doesn't really, um, because XRP doesn't really operate like on a gas system and the burn rate's only 10 drops per transaction, it will really never affect price unless you get to be like, you know, 2,000 years old or something. But it would take 2,000 years just to burn 1% of the supply. And that really won't matter. So we have to actually look at real live XRP usage, not just usage of coins on the XRP ledger. It is, like I said, it is the same for other projects, other mainnets, but the other mainnets do have an advantage because they have this gas thing and every transaction um, has to have gas as well. And gas is, the, the economy of gas actually works for them a lot better than the 10 drops per transaction that's actually burned on the XRP ledger. Their price actually goes up quite a bit faster as um, the transactions pile up. But um, it's really not something new that anyone's learned. I think people have always said like, 
you know, it's going to take years or maybe decades for the burn rate to actually affect the price. Yes, it's going to take a long time, but it's not years or decades. It's literally centuries or millennia before the burn rate actually affects the price. So don't go depending on that. You're still going to have to use the actual utility cases of XRP, probably like, you know, bank, tra um, probably like uh, remittances and bank transfers. A lot of the other things for XRP, like, a lot of the other projects, they're going to make their own coins, so they're not going to directly use XRP. Yes, it will add to the burn rate, but that's not directly beneficial to XRP price itself. So in short, Galgatron's completely right on his statements, and um, Galgatron is completely right on his statements, uh, like I said, and stuff like Sologenic doesn't directly affect XRP price because the burn rate is so low uh, per transaction that it won't affect it for hundreds or thousands of years. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button and join me on my daily streams. Thank you and have a nice day.